So in this video, we're going to talk about XY diagrams. They're also sometimes called cause and effect matrices. Now, they're tools used in Lean Six Sigma projects sometimes to evaluate process inputs and their effect on a process output. Okay. Now, before we jump in, let me mention if you're interested in a Lean Six Sigma white belt certification course that you can access for free, you can go to sixsigmasociety.org. So this is a tool used to prioritize inputs, or Xs, and to show the effect of those inputs on our outputs, our Ys. So how do the inputs affect the outputs? So now let's look at an example of an XY diagram. So let's take a shipment process, a process for shipping orders. Now on the top of the diagram, we're going to see outputs, undesirable outputs, things we want to avoid, like shipment delays, in this case, inaccurate shipments or shipment damage. And right below that, we're going to see a customer importance score. So for each of these undesirable outputs, how important are they to the customer? So a score of 1 is going to be least important, and a score of 10 is going to be very important, very critical to the customer. Now on the left-hand side, we're going to see inputs, our Xs, things like inventory levels in this case, carrier, uh, carrier availability, like UPS and FedEx, shipping method, and so on. Now in the middle of the diagram, we're going to see impact scores. We have options of 1, 3, and 9. 1 is going to be low impact, 3 is going to be moderate impact, and 9 is going to be a high impact. And so we take a look at each input and output combination to see if there's some relationship. Now if there's none, we just leave it blank. But uh, let's take a look at one example here. So for inventory levels, we know that those are a key contributor to shipment delays. A lot of our shipments are delayed because we don't have enough inventory on hand at a given time. I give that a score of 9. Now, if we take a look at local traffic and lo local weather, those do or they could impact shipment delays, but it doesn't happen that often, and the, uh, the impact is low, so we give that a score of 1. And so we take a look at each input and output combination to see if there's a relationship. If there is, we assess some impact score, 1, 3, or 9. Now, to calculate our rankings, we'll give an example here of, with uh, inventory levels. We're going to take the customer importance and multiply it by the impact. So in the first case, 5 times 9, which is going to give us 45. And then we'll take a look at uh, inaccurate shipments and in inventory levels. And so we'll say 8 times 1 is equal to 8. And there's no real relationship between inventory levels and shipment damage, so we'll uh, go past that. Now to get our ranking, we'll take that 45 and add 8 to it. Now, as we calculate these rankings, it helps us determine which inputs we ought to really focus in on, which is a contributor, a key contributor to problems that are critical to our customers, the things that they really care about and are concerned about. So thanks for watching. If you're interested in learning more, don't forget to check out the free Lean Six Sigma certification course at sixsigmasociety.org.